I'm here at Greenland Ferris, just outside of Gary Bridge, West Virginia, filming the hydro electric plant. Well, from the outside, you're not allowed inside. Off I suppose now, aren't we? But it's actually a hydro electric power plant. This will be an excellent place to film and train if a train would come. Now, I plan to film a train here in one of these days. It's just I never get lucky to catch a train on this stretch unless they count the one that's been sitting in the rail yard, all those cars, train cars put in stores sitting in the rail yard. They've been there for I don't know how long now. But this place is open again. There's probably somebody there, there's probably security there watching me CCTV cameras wondering what in the world I'm doing, I'm sore. Glenn Ferris Hy Hydro Power Facility. I think in the future there will be more wind, solar, and hydroelectric plants and less coal. Lord, the, well, a little depressing to see the coal mines going down because as, as time goes on there's less and less coal mines. That's the only thing keeping this line going is like the Kenny's Creek, does the, wait a minute, does the Island Creek prep plant and the Jody prep plant. Allen Creek and Jody, the two mines are still going on this line. Allen Creek is like 27 miles away from here. Uh, by the way, I, I've had people tell me, whether it's true or false, that the water here, there's a spot here, over here where the water is 400 feet deep. I'm not going to say true or false because I can't say either way. All I know is I was told the water is 400 feet deep in that one spot there. There used to be a power pole there, but it's gone. Oh, that's the Glen Ferris Hotel. Old train station. I don't know if I ever film a train here one day or not. I have filmed, now if you're curious, I have filmed a few trains on this line. I got one crossing that trestle down here over the Canal River. I avoid. It's a beautiful view crossing that big long trestle. Of course, when I've done the we upload for my new YouTube here, this said Deepwater Trestle. And I plan on doing more videos of trains here in the future. One of these days I hope to get lucky and catch one in this line. It's just the trains are few and far between. From I get a, most of the trains on this particular stretch of the line come at night. Basically all the I've been told by the locals here, night, most of the trains, they go by late at night. Or in the evenings just before dark. You get occasional daytime train here. Uh, it's just, most people think this line is hardly ever used. I don't know, it's kind of hard to judge because places like Thurman and Prince is where I go. Dumbly Creek Branch line runs right by my house and then you got Thurman and Prince because I go to those, those two places a lot because it's guaranteed trains. Places like this I try but don't have much luck. There's two trains on the CSX side of the river a couple of hours ago and I missed both of them. Oh well. It's still cool to see all this though. Oh, in that sign I read in the different video when I was filming the Glen Ferris end itself. I uploaded that video before this video. But my goal is to someday film a train here. Can't say when I will, but one day I hope to.